Hello, hello. Welcome to Monday. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Sí, que lo guarde. Que no ven que es una oficina. Hey, good evening, teacher. Hey, hello. The How's kids are going? going. The kids are driving me crazy, man. <laughs> Did you guys? Sorry about that. Don't worry. They get you know. It happened something like that. Oh my God! And then. You know, you have the office and then the kids bring in all the toys. Hey, I got a new headset. Can you guys hear me okay? Can you guys hear me better? Yeah, loud and clear. Okay, nice, nice. All right, and so what happens, I don't know if you guys can see a little bit of the toys behind. And so what they <laughs> did is they started piling on the toys inside the little, you know, and it's a little, little space. Oh my God, okay. Well, anyways, it's toys in the background. Let me, I'm gonna try to sit over here. Maybe I can cover them. Hmm. Well, welcome, welcome to Monday. How's, how's everybody doing? Como están todos? Very well. That is great to hear. Como les ha ido con la plataforma? I have finished the midterm exam. Oh, that's nice. The midterm, the midterm was, was a little bit tough. I'm happy to hear that. Let me go ahead and start sharing so that we can go into our working environment, our pages. Let me see here. Can you guys see okay? Yes. Yeah. All right. Let me go back over here to our website. Here it is, module one. All right, and so the midterm. Y nos pasamos a la sección cuatro. ¿Quiénes ya tuvieron la oportunidad de estar en la sección cuatro? And work, work that one a little bit. Not yet? Not yet. Okay, so this, this one, section four, you could say that it starts off with, uh, I'm going to say, trying to get conversations going a little bit more. And so if you guys remember on section three, it, it started, well, the last, the last items that we saw were the requests, indirect requests, las clausulas, los gerunds, usando models, and so and once so you guys get, get to section, section four, four, there's a little there's bit more on, on um, conversations. conversations. Um, um, if you're gonna, if say, you're gonna something, say something, how would you, how say, would you say it? it? Um, um, are you talking, talking about, about the past, 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 you know, the you present know, the or the future? future. And, so and so section, section four, four takes, takes over, over uh, usando los tenses, the different tense. In this particular case, it starts off with the lesson objectives. A quick Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds a little bit interference in your voice. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 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 But you know but what? You know I, what? Think I think that one that is one not is not the uh, headset. headset. I think, I think that, that might be the internet, internet now. now. Okay. So let me so go, let me go ahead, ahead and see if I can, I can fix, fix it up real quick. 
Sounds like you are in a group. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Sounds like an echo. There's an echo there. Echo there. No one, I mean, could it be that it's, it's not, it's not accepting? accepting? No, it, the, the head's on. Let me see what's happening. Yeah, I have the sound. Yeah, and then I have the speakers, which is the headset. Okay, okay. Um, um, can you guys can hear me okay now? Okay now. I was, I was, I was messing, I was messing around, around with the volume. volume. Maybe the Maybe volume, volume. volume. Okay. Aún suena con un poco de latencia, como con eco. Oh, really, really. You know what? It could be, it could be the headset. Let me see if I have the other one. Maybe that one works a little bit better. better. Give me one, second. one second. Hang tight, hang tight, hang tight, hang tight. I did a I switch did a on the headset. Head 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 as you can see, it looks a little bit, a little bit, looks a little bit weird here today. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I changed back to the other one. How about now? Clear. Oh my goodness, I think it was. Oh my God, you know, I should have. No hubiera comprado esos que valen $4.99. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, so, lo que estábamos hablando, section number three. And as you guys can see, uh, indirect request was the last item in section number three. Y luego comenzamos con la sección número cuatro. Uh, conversation otra vez. We come back to los tenses, past continuous and simple past. So, vamos a iniciar la tanda del día. Eh, ya tú sabes, vamos a comenzar con el reading y luego we're going to jump right into the simple past. Eh, y la idea es tratar de ver si podemos completar past continuous, simple past. Ver algunos ejercicios en la sección 4 and maybe get into past perfect positive and negative statements. Uh, I'm really hoping that we get here. Aunque, por favor, recuerden que tenemos todos los cuatro días para completar esto. Entonces, um, en verdad, lo que podríamos hacer es tomarnos un poquito más y tal vez practicar un poco más en las conversaciones. ¿Qué les parece? Ok. Okay, all right, great. And as you guys can see, I have a few uh, slides on here for you guys. Y vamos a iniciar with, a ver, a ver, a ver, just the chat. Okay, oh, creo que lo moví by mistake. Okay, vamos ahí. Okay, comenzamos con nuestro reading exercise. Aquí lo tenemos. Can you guys see it? Okay. okay. This one is a little bit long. Entonces, para este le voy a dar tres minutos. Take it easy, right? Take your time. And the three minutes start right now.
Okay. ¿Qué tal? Logramos terminar. Yes. Okay, okay. Any words on this story that caught your attention? Alguna palabra en general que tal vez ustedes que les llamó la atención. A mí me llamó mucho la atención esta que dice Brain. Porque así se le dice cuando el cuando el cuando el burro le hace ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo es que le hace? Algo así. Bueno, soy un poco raro. Eh, bueno, yo siempre, yo siempre solo, eh, siempre había, lo, lo había escuchado y había, pues, como, como le hace el, el, el donkey, el donkey's noise or the donkey's laughter, but it's actually called the donkey's brain or the bray. Que es ese, ese sonido bien, bien raro que hacen los burros. Uh, creo que estaba el otro. Frighten es, eh, me dio miedo, tengo miedo. Me causó miedo, es frighten, eh, me dio miedo. Ok, les vamos a ver cómo están las preguntas. Ok. Comenzamos con la pregunta número uno que dice, ¿A donkey found a lion skin, a lion or a hunter? A lion skin. A lion skin. A lion skin. Okay. Ahí está. The donkey put the skin on, buried the skin or ran away from the skin? Ran away from the skin. Ran away? Uh, put the skin on. Put, put the skin, skin on. on. Okay, so that's two. Okay, let's go. Two. Put the skin on. The donkey laughed when the animals laughed with him. He looked at himself. The animals ran away from him. The animals ran away from him. Everybody agree? Okay. Yes. C. Okay. Animal C. Run away from him. Got it. He had so much fun that he got tired, hungry, or excited. Excited. Exciting. Excited. Okay. Five. When he got excited, he chased animals, lay down, or opened his mouth. Open his mouth. Mouth. Open mouth. his mouth. Okay. Mouth. The sound that came out of his mouth was brain like a donkey, roaring like a lion, or barking like a dog. Brain like a donkey. Brain like a donkey, okay. The fox said that he was no longer tricked by him because of the skin didn't look real. His voice was not a lion's voice or the skin falling off. His voice was not a lion voice. The voice, his voice was not a lion voice. I just try that. All right, all right. The lesson of this story, Don't ever talk to people. Try to deceive people with outward appearance. Listening to what people says tells you more about them than outward appearance. The last one. The last one, see? You guys agree? All right. Yeah, a hundred. Good job, guys. Good job. Well done. Okay. Going back to the course, if you guys have gotten into C2, 
section four and you guys start going into the lesson objectives, the conversation with our around the campfire and got into past continuous versus simple past, then we should take you here. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to go back and talk to you guys about the different tenses and then go into what the video talks about, which is simple past versus past continuous or past progressive. También se puede decir. Entonces, tomarlo como eh, review. un review y luego enfocarnos un poco más eh, a lo que va el video. Entonces, comenzamos. Eh, los tenses eh, son 12 en total. So you have 12 different tenses. And we've only been seeing like maybe the basic ones that, you know, that we see every day or that people use every day, but they can get pretty complicated as conversation uh, grows. And so we start off with the different tenses and what, what their name is and the actual names that you guys will see. Um, we have present simple, present continuous, que ese también se le conoce como present, uh, uh, también se, you guys can also hear progressive as well, pero it's present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous, past simple, past continuous, past perfect, past perfect continuous, future simple, future continuous, future perfect, and future perfect continuous. So these are the different types of tenses. Now, with each tense, you get a positive, a negative, and also a question. So if we were looking at present simple, uh, the positive version of present simple would be, I prefer my coffee black. The negative would be, I don't prefer my coffee black. And the question would be, do I prefer my coffee black? Present continuous would be the positive form. She is listening to the music now. The negative would be she is not listening to the music now. And the question would be, is she listening to the music now? And you have positive, negative, and then the question format. In this particular case, it would be simple, past. So we're gonna have to go back down a little bit here. Aquí está, past simple and past continuous, which they're right next to each other. And so the first one that we see here is, we watched the news last night, which is the positive. The negative would be, we did not watch the news last night. For past continuous, I was learning German last year. And the negative would be, I was not learning German last year. And in this lesson, you actually use both of these. You can use past simple and past continuous in the same sentence. And so for that, we go into the little slide here on the side. As you guys can see, we have simple past in blue and we have past continuous in red. And so the idea is that you wanna talk about what you are doing at a specific moment and so for past continuous, you have, I was eating dinner. Estaba comiendo la cena when he called me last night. And then, so it changes from past continuous to simple past. And that is the way that you guys will see it in the lesson. And that is what we're gonna focus on today. Now it could also be vice versa. You could say, when he called me last night, I was eating dinner. And it's still the simple past and then transitioning over to past continuous. Okay. So for the remaining of this lesson, we focus on simple past versus past continuous and using both of them. And so let's go over here and see what it is and how we use it. Simple past. We use this one when we talk about completed actions, habits, 
and facts in the past. For example, I went to the cinema yesterday. I always visited my grandparents in my summer holidays when I was little. I lived near Liverpool for a couple of years. So try to use some of these. If you'd like, uh, you can repeat them without turning your mic on. If you want to turn your mic on, uh, feel free to do it. Um, so it goes like this. Remember, this is simple past. I went to the cinema yesterday. Yesterday. Una vez más. I went to the cinema yesterday. I always visited my grandparents in my summer holidays when I was little. I always visited my grandparents in my summer holidays when I was little. I lived near Liverpool for a couple of years. Simple past. Now we're going to talk about past continuous. This one is used to express an interrupted action, specific time as an interruption and parallel actions. So for example, I was watching TV when the phone rang. So there goes the interruption, right? You were doing something and now you're interrupted. Porque el teléfono sonó. I was watching TV when the phone rang. Last night at 7 p.m., I was having dinner while she was doing her homework. Oh, I think that's a different one. I'm sorry about that. Last night at 7 p.m., I was having dinner. That's it. While she was doing her homework, her brother was playing football. So if you guys like, you guys can repeat after me. I was watching. I was watching. Yes, yes. I was watching TV when the phone rang. I was watching TV. I was watching TV when the phone rang. Okay. Last night at 7 p.m. Last night at 7 p.m. I was having dinner. I was having, having dinner. dinner. I was having dinner. While she was doing her homework. While she was doing her homework. Her brother. Her brother. Her brother. Was playing football. Was, was playing, playing football. football. Okay. So, these are some of the examples. Now, we're going to look at them one by one. Past continuous describes an action that was in progress at some point in the past. So you could say something like, my brother was working yesterday at 7 p.m. Or it could be 7 a.m., right? My brother was working yesterday at 7 p.m. They were doing an exam last Friday at 2.30 p.m. Or it could be 2.30 a.m. And so this is two events taking place at the same time in the past. Ellen was cooking while her sister was watching TV. So the first, the first example, it is an action in progress at some point in the past. And the second example is at the same time in the past. Okay. And so simple past, 
is an action that was completed in the past. Yeah. Um went fishing last week. I worked until 2 p.m. yesterday. Until what time did you work yesterday? Oh, I worked until 2 p.m. yesterday. Okay. My family came to visit me last year. My family came to visit me last year. So now there are some time expressions that are frequently used with simple past. For example, yesterday, last night, for example, or last year, you can use past date. In this particular case, you have to say in, in and then the year, in 2005, in 1985. You cannot say on. Or you can say the number of years, two years ago. That's another example that you guys can use. Two years ago. Okay. How are you guys doing so far? You guys okay? Everything all right? Do you guys have any questions? Alguna pregunta? No, teacher, everything is okay. Everything is okay. All right. Okay. So, got you guys some more examples of past simple and past continuous. We went to the zoo last week. What did you do last week? We went to the zoo last week. Sorry. What did you say? I said that we went to the zoo last week. And you can scream it, right? You can scream and get it louder. Now, this one is for past completed actions. When you talk about past habits or a, a specific state, we often went to the pub after work. So after work, al chupadero. We often went to the pub after work. He really liked sport and was very fit. Liked and was or went are some words that you guys can use. You can use them as situations that started and finished in the past. I played football for 20 years. I played soccer for 10 years. I played basketball for 10 years. How long did you live in Brussels? If you're asking a question, right? How long did you live in Brussels? I loved her since the day we met. I loved her since the day we met. A narrative use or events of the story in chronological order. She opened the door, looked at us and went to her room. Opened, looked, and went. Past continuous. Actions in, pro in progress at a certain time in the past. A certain point in a story. Yesterday at 10 p.m. I was sleeping. When Natasha opened the door, we were talking about her. Uh-oh. Was sleeping, were talking. Those are the words that you guys should be including. Was and where. The narrative used, used to set the scene at the beginning of a story. It was getting dark and I was walking to the pub when, and then your story, right? We're not gonna go into past perfect even though it's here. Past simple and past continuous. Okay. All right. Any questions you guys might have? You guys all right? Everybody good? I have a question, teacher. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that we can use yesterday, last, and ago, and something. But in the example, I saw yesterday with past continuous. So we can use also with past continuous and past simple. If you can use yesterday? Yes. Yes. Now, also, now. Last, the, last day, last week, for example. Also to. Well, you know, you could use 
let me see on, on this example, you can use it with simple past. Last, let's see, you would be able to use it only if you, you could say last year, Ellen was cooking with her, with, while her sister was watching TV. I mean, you could use it. However, you would have to fix the sentence to make it fit. Okay, so time expression we can use for a simple past and also for past continuous. You can, um, but if you notice, you would have to make the past continuous ten, uh, sentence a little bit longer, well, much longer, because you would have to say last year when Ellen was cooking while her sister was watching TV, you, you would have to kind of rewrite the whole sentence by adding last. Okay. But yeah, you could you could do it. That's the reason it's more frequent with past simple. Right, right. So you could use it in both, but it's easier to use in simple past. Okay. Okay. And, I got it this way. All right. Thanks. Okay. So now um, we continue with the examples, and so for this one we have the past simple, past continuous. Remember that this one can also be past progressive. So if you guys hear past progressive, it's the same thing. Past progressive or past continuous. And there's the positive or affirmative. I played football. I went to the cinema. Past continuous. He was playing football. They were playing football. The negative would be I did not play football or I didn't play football. He was not, or he wasn't playing football. They weren't playing football. And then the questions. Now with this one, we added the adverbs and expressions because you could use yesterday, you could use last. These are the frequent, this is, you know, the frequent use. You can also use at plus the time or while and as. And those are also examples of adverbs that you can use. And of course, we also see here, I went to the cinema yesterday. I always visited my grandparents when I was young. I lived near Cambridge for a couple of years. Past simple, past continuous. I was watching TV when the phone rang. This is the exercise that we had already done. Last night at 8 p.m., I was having dinner, and then you can, you know, you can change it up there a little bit. Okay, so let's kind of go back here. So for this particular exercise, in the lesson itself, they talk about you using past simple and past progressive. What they mean is that you can incorporate the simple past and the past continuous in one sentence. And most of the examples that they use are, are, are very reminiscent of this one here. So you, they start off with giving you a sentence, I was eating dinner, and then when he called me last night. And so this is the example or one of the examples that they use uh, where you can use a past continuous in your sentence and you can use a simple past and the sentence looks good and sounds good. Keep in mind that there's a lot of sentences that we can use. It all depends on when is it that you are referring to, what time, right? We're going in the past we are here in the present and then we move over to the future. And so when in the past, if you want to use a specific time, se puede. So you can say between 6.30 and 7.30 p.m. and you can use that as a time. You can use a specific time. You can say 7.15 p.m. and that will also work. And people will accept it and it sounds good. Okay. Any questions you guys might have? Preguntas or passive? I think these are the easiest ones. Past simple, past continuous. I have a question. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
I think not about the topic. <laughs> it's more a curiosity. What's the difference between use to the cinema and at the movies? What's a ver, what's the difference between for example is how I went to the cinema? But also I, I understand we can use I went at the movies. Oh, okay. So you could say I went to the movies. Okay. So now what you have to be careful with is that it should be I went to watch a movie. Okay. I went to watch a movie. Okay. So that that is the correct way of saying it. If you if you need to say it. now what happened is that I went to watch a movie at the cinema became too long and nobody wants to use cinema anymore. Okay? And so that's what, the reason for that's people a, say at the movies. That's correct. And so now what has happened instead of people saying, Hey, I went to the cinema to watch a movie, they don't want to say that. They just want to say, I went to the movies. All right. And so now, so here's the thing, right? You could still say it both ways, but how many of your friends do you think will look at you funny when you say, I went to the cinema to watch Frankenstein? What is the first thing your friends are going to say? They're going to say, this is our cinema. <laughs> right, right. They, they usually will tell you what the hell is a cinema, <laughs> you know, because we don't use it and it's not used and it's not um, used that often. But, but this is the correct way of saying it. So instead of you saying, I went to the movies, you should be saying, okay, I so went the to right the way cinema. Is cinema. Right, yeah, yeah. The right way would be cinema. Now, Okay. You could, you could still say I went to watch a movie or I went to the movies and both ways are acceptable and you can use them. So I would okay. say play it by ear. If, if you have people saying, well, I went to the movies or did you go to the movies? You, you, you want to say the same thing. You want to say, yeah, I went to the movies. Right. And then people will usually ask you, well, what did you go watch? Right. That's the follow up question. If you tell somebody I went to the I went to watch a movie or I went to the movies, they'll tell you or they're gonna ask you what did you watch? What did, what did you watch? Watch. All right. And so when you say I went to the cinema, you usually follow it up with to watch. And then you say the name Godzilla. Nah, Godzilla with double A. Sorry about that. Godzilla ahorita viene con todo. O más inverseta. Okay. All right. So, so either way is okay. So you can say, I went to watch a movie. You can say, I went to the movies. Or you can say, I went to the cinema. Solo que acordate. Uh, people might, tell, might look at you funny because we don't really use cinema that often. Solo cuando estamos enseñando. But that's the right way. Is that is the right way? Yeah, that, that is the correct way. I went, I went to the cinema and people okay. are automatically going to tell you, what did you go watch? And you could say, oh, I went to watch Godzilla. Oh, you know, whatever you want to say. But remember, you could use either way, either way. Okay. The most formal would be, I went to the cinema. And that is, you're going to yeah, sound, nah, puro británico te va, te va a escuchar. Oh, I went to the cinema. <laughs> All right. So. Let's practice a little bit. I have a quick exercise for you guys. Past, and this one focuses on past simple tense. So with this one, I'm going to ask you guys to do them yourself. And I'm going to do the first one. And then I'm going to come back and ask you guys. Okay. So what is it that you have to do here? You have to complete the sentences with the past simple form of the verbs in the bracket. So the help, right? I, the past simple, would be helped. 
my mother in the garden yesterday. Okay, so now you guys get to do two, three, four, and five. How much time do you guys think you guys need for that? Two minutes? All right, let me give you guys two minutes. You guys have two minutes and I'll come back and I'm gonna ask you guys what did you put, okay? Two hey, minutes? Yes, sir, yes. What's mean tidy? Oh, tidy. tidy, tidy is when you are neat and clean. Okay, 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 I got it. Okay. All right, how did you guys do? Let me see. What did you guys put for number two? Visited. Oh, visited. I mean, help me out, help me out. Read the sentence and see how it sounds. Peter and Kiki visited Aunt Paula last week. All right, well, that sounds pretty good, let me tell you. Okay, number three. Roy tidied his room on Friday. Tidy is, oh, I think. I don't, I, think don't. We can, I don't think we could do it like that. Tidy? Hmm. No. Nope. Do no. you think maybe cleaned? Cleaned. Cleaned his room on Friday? Because when you go into a room, you say, oh my goodness, this room is so tidy. And so what you're saying is that it's so clean and it's neat. Okay, I think tidy is like a verb. Yeah, tidy. Uh, let me see. I'm thinking that we might tidy it. No, that doesn't tidy sound it. Tidy it. I found tidy it. What is this it? This way. This way. Tidy it. Tidy it. Tidy it. Yeah. Like you wrote. Yeah. How like would you, so you, how would you say, it? Roy? Tidy it. His room on Friday? Yeah. All right. Let's... Tidy at his room on Friday. All right. Let's leave it like that. If not, it, it could possibly be asking maybe for cleaned. But then you would need to put cleaned up. Roy cleaned up his room on Friday. But I don't know. Let's leave this one. Okay. Tidy. Okay. Tidy. 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 <laughs> okay. Number four. What do we get for number four? Barbara printed the test five minutes ago. Printed, okay. Barbara printed the test five minutes ago. Print. Okay. And number five. My teacher prepared a test for us yesterday. 
prepared a test for us yesterday. Okay? All right. All right, so let's continue here. Let's do up until number 10, and this one we can do together. Number six, take a look at it, read it through, and tell me what we can put. Film was boring. We hated it very much. We hated it. Okay. Number seven. They danced a lot at the party last night. They danced a lot at the party last night. Okay. Number eight. We watch TV after school. Watched. Good. This one, this one hurts sometimes because of the CH. So watch. Good. Wait. Well done. Well done. Number nine. Lucy watched her car last weekend. Watched her car last weekend. Okay. And last one. I cooked the dinner last night. I cooked the dinner last night. All right, let's test it out. See how we did. Oh, we didn't get. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I missed the spelling on visited, but you got. We got it. We got it right. Well done, everybody. Well done. Okay, so now let's work these out. And what I want for us to do, I want you guys to repeat them. And if there's a word that you're having problems with, we can practice it real quick, okay? Okay, here we go. Follow me. I helped my mother in the garden yesterday. I helped with my mother in the garden yesterday. Okay, Peter, Peter, and Kiki visited Aunt Paula last week. Peter and Kiki visited Aunt Paula last week. All right. Roy tidied his room on Friday. Roy tidied his room on Friday. Tidied. Barbara. Printed the test five minutes ago. Barbara printed the test five minutes ago. My teacher prepared a test for us yesterday. My teacher prepared a test for us yesterday. Okay. The film was boring. We hated it very much. It was boring. We hated it, it very much. We hated it very much. They danced a lot at the party last night. They danced a lot at the party last night. We watched TV after school. We watched TV after school. Lucy washed her car last weekend. Lucy washed her car last weekend. And then number 10 was I cooked the dinner last night. I cooked the, the dinner last night. All right. Okay. Yes, sir. Could you yes. repeat the number six? Number six. Yes, please. The film was boring. We hated it very much. Hated it. So, oh, okay. okay. Thanks. All right. Okay. Have another one here. Okay. In this one, we have to match the verbs. Okay. So, brush becomes brushed. 
work becomes what do you work. think? Work. Okay. Jump becomes jump. Jump. Okay. Climb becomes climbed. Climbed. Play becomes played. Played. Correct. Go. When. Went. Went. Okay. Fall becomes. Felt. Felt. Take becomes took. 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 See becomes oh. saw. saw. Ahora, saw también es serruchar. So, depending on how you're using it, right, you can say, uh, like I, movie. I saw the movie, or you can say, I. I took the saw in my hand. Entonces, el serrucho, the saw. You can, so be careful how you use the saw. Porque es exact, la, la misma palabra. Okay. Drink becomes? Drunk. Drank. Run becomes? Run. Ran. Eat becomes? Eat. Eight. Eight. Like if like if you're saying the number eight, se pronuncia igual eight. Eat eight. Have becomes had. All right, and then there it is. So brushed, worked, jumped, climbed, played, went, fell, took, saw. Drank, ran, ram, ate, ate had. Ate. Uh, okay. Yeah, there we go. All right, let me see what else we have on here. Oh, those are a little bit different. Sure, that's the reason the movie Sao means serruchar. That, that's why, that's why, yeah, that's why. Because okay. Sao is el, el serrucho, el serrucho, el serrucho. El serrucho. All right, let me see if I have another one that's not so long. Oh, this one, this one's too long. But we can use it later on to practice. As you guys can see, we have a lot of these, so there's always plenty, plenty of time. Okay, um, let's get out of this one. I want to go back and touch up on the platform. And so remember that we have the whole week to work section four. If there is a knowledge check that you guys want to work in, we can do it in class as a group. And as you guys can see, the last two things that we see before the knowledge check is the past perfect positive and negative statements, um, the past perfect questions. And so, Right before we get to all of that, you guys, a lot of the lessons here are just you listening to the information, ver el video, escuchar el video, and if you guys would like, go into the discussion session and then type in, you know, an, an exercise that you heard or something like that. And the one that we just saw was the past continuous versus simple past. Hopefully tomorrow we get to cover a little bit more about passive overviews and past perfect. And I'm going to try to see if I can get a role play to see if we can get a conversation going um, using some of these examples. Okay. Up until this point and up into the platform, how are you guys doing? Have you guys checked your progress? Have you guys had time to check on your progress? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So in theory, 
we should be we should have covered section one and we should have that at a hundred percent section two at a hundred percent and for section three i think i'm missing a knowledge check but i think i want to finish it tonight this one should be also at a hundred percent and then we're starting off in section four for this week um my average so far is 53 percent and i already completed the midterm i only need to complete my final and then section four and five and that's pretty much it for my courses okay double check on your progress if you have any knowledge check that you haven't completed for section four or section three even we can go back a little bit um we can go over it and we can cover it during class okay okay teacher all right all right guys i'm going to give you guys back a little bit of time i'm going to say Good night to you guys. Nice having you guys here on Monday. Nice having you in class. Good to see you guys are here. And thank you very much. Have a good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Thanks. Good night. Take care, guys. Good night. Good night.